May 23rd, I'll be embarking on my first ever solo adventure for three whole months through the southeast of Asia. People have been asking me what I'm hoping to find. What are my fears? Why am I going? And what am I hoping to find? Let's dive into it. Recently, I quit my job as a video content creator at a software company. So right now, I'm fully self-employed. I'm working as a photographer and freelancer. And before committing myself to my clients and my business, I thought that if I wanted to go on a bigger adventure for like three months, this right now would be the perfect moment. The thought of going on a solo adventure has been going through my head for the past one to two years. After quitting my job, I was like, I'll see what comes on my path and I'll just do that. But I didn't really entirely like that attitude, so I decided to take the wheel into my own hands and to just go on this adventure. I also think that it could be really good for me to take a step back from everyday life as I know it. Ever since graduation, it has always felt like work, 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 on and on to the next thing. It definitely hasn't been bad at all, but it's good to take a step back, to see where I'm headed, and to find out where I actually want to go in life. But most of all, I'm also going because I'm super curious about myself. How will I be all by myself? Will I just be super lazy, sit at the beach and do nothing all day? Or will I be more entrepreneurial and undertake adventures and make connections with people? How will I feel about having to figure out so many new things all on my own? Like where to sleep, public transportation, what to do, etc. Although I am self-employed for quite some time and I've been on quite a few adventurous trips, I haven't really always felt like I'm the one making the decisions. I just went with the flow of others. And I'd like to change that or experience it differently. And that brings me to my fears. Most of all, I'm afraid of boredom and loneliness. What if all the beautiful beaches, all the cultural things, all the temples, all the sightseeing, what if that just doesn't interest me? Well, I, I guess that's okay and I guess that's possible, but I wouldn't like to find that out about myself because that would mean that I'm some kind of uninteresting person. I really wouldn't like to have such a quality. We will have to see how that one turns out. And the loneliness part, feeling lonely I think is only natural. Even at home I can sometimes experience it. So it doesn't seem all that strange that in a foreign country, super far away, where you don't know anyone or anything, that you might experience some loneliness. Having said all of that though about boredom and loneliness, I find it hard to imagine that I could feel lonely and bored for days on end while being abroad in a beautiful country with so many new things and especially with photography being my passion that alone could keep me occupied for weeks and also while traveling I think it's easy and only natural to connect with others so uh, yeah those are some of my potential fears boredom and loneliness but I don't think that it's going to become a problem <laughs> What am I hoping to find thousands of kilometers away from home, away from the comfort zone? <laughs> at first I didn't really think about this at all. I just wanted to go just because I could. I just wanted to have a new adventure, experience new stuff and do some photography. Now that I've given it some more thought, I'm mostly curious about myself. <laughs> That sounds selfish, but uh, yeah, you are the most important person in your life. Or, or maybe your partner, I don't know. <laughs> and I also want to get more in touch with my inner voice. Everyone has an inner voice, that thing that tells you what you want to do, what you want to eat. But sometimes it's hard to listen to it. It's hard to know what to do or to feel to know what to do. <laughs> Sometimes I have like a weekend off and like suddenly I just don't know what to do and I feel bored. And this actually bothers me quite a bit every now and then. Recently I saw this video which was quite inspiring and it clicked for me. It talked about how we were being constantly bombarded with information from the outside. Yeah, it, it doesn't sound so strange that because we get constantly bombarded with external thoughts 
so much information like music, Netflix, social media, work, friends even. Uh, yeah, it can be hard for your inner voice to actually reach yourself or to get up or get out of yourself. Are your thoughts and desires really your own or do they maybe come from external sources? It shouldn't be that hard to know what to do, but if it is, maybe that's a sign that your inner voice can't reach you. Less externalizing, more internalizing. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time for me to stop overthinking all of this because it's already super special and awesome that I can go, that I'm fortunate enough to do this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be an adventure of a lifetime. I'm gonna have a great time out there. Sure, maybe here and there a few minor hardships, but hey, what's life without a few problems to solve? If you want to follow my adventure, see some more videos and photography, consider perhaps subscribing. All right, have a good day.